We don't accept the coup. We condemn it in the strongest terms possible. And we, we, we call upon return to constitutional order in that country. The East African Community Chair Jakai Kikwete calls for sanity fell on the heels of touching the national broadcaster and a number of other private radio and TV stations turned off air. Burundian private radio station in Sanga Niro says it has been taken off air along with other private broadcasters. The station was one of those that broadcast the coup announcement yesterday. These are maps of Burundi's capital city that show the international airport which had reportedly reopened under the control of the lawyers' forces and the state-run broadcaster where there is renewed fighting. The divisions in Burundi's army over the coup attempt do not appear to be along ethnic lines. Both the army chief of staff who is loyal to the president and the general who announced the coup are Hutus. Factions appear to be between those who believe the president violated the peace accord that ended the civil war by running for a third term and those who remained loyal to him. The reason there has been so much fighting for control of state-run RTNB broadcasters is because it was the only one still broadcasting to the whole country last night when people outside Bujumbura may not have known about the coup attempt in the capital. Heavy gunfire and explosions rocked Burundi's capital Bujumbura a day after senior army officer had dismissed the country's president. The general and the former intelligence chief, uh, Godfrey Nyombale, ordered closure of Bujumbura Airport and the landlocked nation's borders and declared he had the support of many high-ranking army and police officials. The latest radio announcement and the denial signals that the outcome of the coup attempt remained uncertain. There are overnight negotiations within the armed forces, which appeared sharply divided over the issue, may have also failed. Kuruziza, who was endorsed by his ruling CNDD FDD for the June 26th election, and critics say the move by the president to run for a third term goes against the 2006 peace accord, which ended the civil war, and Burundi's constitution that allowed only two five year terms. Aaron Stabarka, WBS Television.